have a speech impediment, so don't say anything about it, because it's really rude. Thank you. Hi, I'm a fellow popular scratcher in my 20s. One of my community server moderators made a video about Ranbu a bit ago, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people know he's in my servers, so I want to at least say something so you know I'm aware of all this. I'm assuming everyone here knows who Nine Rainbow Tails is, and what Scratch is and all that. I don't really want to be deep diving into everything, I'm just expressing my experiences. I knew of Tales of Perfect Heart for a long time, but I didn't read it until recently, and it was fine. A lot of my Scratch people liked it, so I wanted to read it. I made Queen's Mystery because I liked the idea of a Scratch comic, and Toph was the last straw that got me to make it. Me and Rambu don't really talk at all, I know she's liked some of my projects, and I've liked some of hers. I follow her mainly because it was cool to know another asexual 20 year old. I'm not sure how old she is, but I think she was 20 or 21. I know she's in college too. I also follow her on DeviantArt, and the only time I've actually chatted with her besides later on was back in May of this year when someone in both my Discord server and her main server was telling me that in their words, like the entire server hates you. And I messaged her on DeviantArt asking her if her server actually hated me or something, because like, I've never even been on her server, so I was really confused. And I felt kind of anxious thinking that her entire fandom was after me. And I wanted to know what exactly I was doing that was annoying everyone, because I tend to be really annoying, and I need to be told when I'm doing something like that so I could stop. She clarified that the only people who hated me were this one group of people I banned from my own Discord server because of pretty illegal things they did, but otherwise it was all fine, and we were cool from there. The only thing iffy I found about her response was how she said that she has so many channels on her server that she can't moderate it too well. And I have heard rumors that there are a ton of underage users on our server, like under the age of 13, like 11 or 12 years old. And I also heard rumors that adult words and topics were discussed with these minors. Not from her, but like, I heard that there were discussions of adult subjects that weren't being shut down or removed. But, like I said, I've never been on our server, so I have no idea if these are true or not. Nor do I have any screenshot evidence on me of this. They're just rumors I've heard, and since she's a popular scratcher, you kind of expect there to be rumors about everyone. A month passed, and someone on my server was talking about how Ranbu was starting up a tough animated series, and it sounded cool. So I went over to her profile and there was a project about some YouTube studio that was going to handle that and there was a Discord link in the project which is actually really bad. So Discord is like the best place for minors to be taken advantage of by predators. Probably because the moderation is so awful and IP bans don't exist. It's already a 13 plus site, so I don't really like how she linked the Discord server on a site for kids. Ate it up. Anytime you want to share something on Scratch, you have to realize that 8 year olds are probably going to see it because that's their main demographic. It says ages 8 to 16. So anytime I want to post something, I assume that some 8 year old is going to look at it. So personally, I try to avoid sharing or saying anything. The parents of a third grader would get mad at Scratch over. Also, you have to realize that children under the age of 13 are definitely going to lie about their age to get on sites. My mom made me a Facebook account so I could play this one game when I was 10 years old, even though the age for Facebook is 13. And I've personally seen a whole bunch of users who are underage who lie to get onto things. Take a look at almost any comment under Scratch Team's Twitter handle. So I don't really like the idea of her posting a link to one of the most dangerous social medias for minors. I doubt any of that would be going on. Like, I don't think adults are using Ranbu server to get illegal stuff, but once 8 to 12 year olds get a Discord account to get into one server, 
They're probably going to look up invites and join more, and those could be dangerous. This link did get taken down pretty fast, probably since it's against the guidelines. To send links outside Scratch, she just links the Scratch account to whoever runs the Toff animated account. That one got deleted because a whole bunch of people were sending their Discord usernames on the profile, which is also against the guidelines for sharing personal contact information. I eventually got into the server with a link from someone who had joined the server as well, and I got kicked almost immediately. I don't want to get into most of the server's issues since I wanted to talk about my experiences with Ranbu, so long story short, I was kicked because the people I banned who were complaining in Ranbu's main server didn't like me. While I was there though, some of my other server members were there as well. I did see adult words in anatomy that should only be discussed between adults said by Setter, who was one of the people who- My moderator who made that video on Ranbu confronted her about it because it's kind of weird if she's going to be supporting a team that thinks it's okay to talk about male anatomy with minors, especially if that one other rumor about there being 11 and 12 year olds is true. I did see someone on the server who is 12. I know them on Scratch. I don't know how many underage users are actually on there, but if I was Ranbu being a fellow 20, 21 year old, I wouldn't want to be a voice actor of a team that thinks talking about this stuff to underage children is okay. I get that she didn't directly do any of these things, but being a popular Scratcher and having that power Supporting this team by just being a voice actor is really suspicious. If you then look into it and see that the moderators are these really rude people who mention male anatomy to underage children. Anyway, around this time, someone else in my server had started reading the series and was like, uh, wait, is this a forced parenthood joke? I'm not gonna say the R word here, but pretty much... Two male characters in Toph were unaware that they were fathers, which, if you know how kids exist, it does give off a really weird vibe, especially when one of the characters who didn't know claims that they never even talked to the mother. People were attacking my mod on his video, and they've said some things. Ranbu didn't say anything, so I won't claim she supports any of these claims, but some people were saying... That Bird Bird was naming a random guy because she didn't know who the father was either. And the second guy was supposed to be a joke about how he's an absent father. I mean, I guess, but you do have to remember that the kids reading this comic isn't going to understand all that. You could see a bunch of kids laughing about how these two characters were forced into fatherhood, which really isn't great to normalize, especially when this is such a huge problem in real life. You kind of have to realize that kids are going to take everything literally. They're not going to get some jokes. Like, it's not obvious that Bird Bird was saying a random guy's name because she's just insane like that. A lot of kids are just going to take Bird Bird at face value and think that the actual father of her kids is some dude who's never even talked to her and was likely forced into parenthood in his sleep or while he was unconscious. And kids this young aren't going to understand how bad this is. There was also this one phrase that was about male anatomy that Ranbu included in one of her chapters that kept being taken down. A male child, I can't remember if it was Perfect Paw or Saffron Paw or his brother, was saying something like, so-and-so can do a certain adult thing, which is double as bad since he is a child in the Warrior Cat universe. To be honest, this was probably why the project kept being taken down, and it stopped once Ranbu removed it, as far as I'm aware. But for some reason, she puts the phrase in the next chapter as well, but, but like, really transparent. Honestly, this and the whole thing about the forced parenthood is what made me start feeling really iffy about Ranbu, especially since she's my age and she definitely knows she shouldn't be talking about that to the 8 to 16 year old scratch main audience. There was also lesbian and arrow ace erasure that was mentioned in my mods video, 
and I later heard that these were shared during Pride Month as like a mockery to homophobes or something. I guess you could take Perfect Paw wearing a lesbian flag as a joke, but there's a pretty big issue in the LGBT community right now about men labeling themselves as lesbians, and it's just a really poorly timed joke. Sorry I have to bring up age again, but some younger scratchers have and are making images of Perfect Paw wearing a lesbian flag as a profile picture which could make actual lesbians feel uncomfortable if they haven't seen that specific project. Personally, I never saw the project. I just read the comic and don't look at anything else. So I'm aware that Perfect Paw is a cis male and if I saw someone with perfect paw wearing a lesbian flag, I'd be pretty uneasy around them because, yes, it's supporting that men could be lesbians too, idea even if the child has no idea. I'm not blaming any younger users here because they have no idea what's right and wrong, but being older, I feel like it's sort of your responsibility to not share or support things that children are going to spread around, not knowing it could be offensive or bad. The Arrow Ace erasure thing was in this one shipping project. For Saffron Paw ships, I actually can't remember if he became a warrior yet. The series is all over the place. And Arrow Ace shouldn't be barred from being in ships, which to an eight-year-old is going to make them think that she's talking about all arrow aces all together and uh, for romantic relationships. I could also see younger scratchers using her. If a ship doesn't align with their canon sexuality, it's nothing to get too worked up over as an excuse to ship characters from other fandoms and ignoring sexualities. It does depend on the creator, but these are really young kids who don't understand that. Personally, I don't want people shipping my characters who are canonically lesbian and canonically aromantic because being aromantic, I've been both of these sexualities before and it feels really invalidating and offensive when you identify with this character and people are like, who cares? I want them to be together because they're cute. Kind of feels awful when you've been through that in real life. Same thing goes with the forced parenthood thing and why that affects me so much, but I don't want to get into that here. There was also this line for Ginkgo Kit saying just not to ship them with old ladies. And to be honest, I feel like you shouldn't be shipping kits at all. It's also weird to specify old ladies because it just sounds like Ranbu is saying not to ship Ginkgo Kit with an elder or like a really old adult, even though he really shouldn't be shipped with anyone at all, even when he's a kid trapped in an older body. I'm not saying Rambu is homophobic, but the way she worded these things is going to make children think that sexuality is something to ignore. A lot of these kids might even apply this to real life, because that's just what kids that age do. If their idol says sexualities can be ignored, then they're going to think that that's okay. One more little thing similar to the Discord link issue. Rainbow did advertise our art fight account, which was probably taken down because it's another 13 plus site that can be considered sharing personal contact information. Art fight isn't as gross as Discord can be, but suggestive stuff is allowed to be shared on there. So I don't think advertising this sort of site to underage users is very good. My moderator is being bombarded by hate comments. I'm not sure where they're coming from, but some of them are saying things like so-and-so said their art fight or a lot of people share their art fight on scratch. But just because a lot of people do a thing doesn't make it okay. Like there are a ton of Hasman Hotel and Hell of a Boss projects and accounts and studios on scratch, but that's definitely not okay to be on here since it's strictly an adult show with adult activities being shown. That's all I really have to say about her. Like I've said, we don't really talk at all, and this is mostly stuff I've seen and read. I just think she needs to be more wary of her audience and what she's sharing on a site that eight-year-olds are spending their time on.